Hello, Newcastle. Yeah. Do we want four and a half million for Simon Walsh? No, no, we're not selling him. Bye. <sighs> Hello, Charlton. Yeah, how can I help you? Cardinale? No, Cardinale's not for sale. I don't know where you heard that, but we're not taking any money for him. He's not for sale. <sighs> Hello, Redding? Yeah? No, no, Tom Ferry? No, you can't have him. <sighs> Hello, Nottingham Forest. How much do we want for Simon Walls? 50 million. We're not selling him. Go away. Oh my goodness. They want all our players. I wish I had like a good analogy for this. Maybe you can help me out. Hello everybody, welcome to Devotion to Promotion where we're trying to take Nuneaton Borough from the bottom of British football to the top and things continue to go well this year, our third in the championship. However, we are less than a week away from the transfer window. Our phones have been ringing off the hook inquiring about players for sale. So we have to talk about that for a little bit. I don't know what's going to happen. Kind of some interesting side stories there. But you may be interested, our form continues to be well. Can things continue to look pretty good for us? Let's jump in and take a quick look at that. And then after we do these kind of preliminary things, we're going to jump right into our match in the Stadium of Light. We're playing Sunderland, their mid-table, and hopefully we can come out of that with some points. But here is our league table. As of this moment, we sit in second place, but we have a game in hand against Cardiff. They have already played today. Our game is the Boxing Day game. We celebrated, celebrated Christmas yesterday as a televised match against Sunderland later on. So we have a game in hand. If we can win this, we'll jump back up into first place where we were at the beginning of this day. If we lose, we'll stay there locked, potentially drop, drift down into third place as our goal differential could change. But things have continued to be pretty good for us. I mean, not we're not pulling away by any means. When we last left, we kind of smothered first place Barnsley 5-1. to one. We followed that up with a couple of draws, a wild 4-4 to four draw against QPR. We were down 4-2 to two in the 83rd minute and rallied for a 4-4 four, four draw. Almost pulled out the win, but couldn't do it. We then thundered to a win against Burnley, who, by the way, Burnley's had a tough season, but they were in the Premier League last year. It was tied until late, and then we scored a couple goals and pulled away. We squared off against Ronaldo's Hutterfield team and drew 1-1 one -one against them, and then pulled out a tough 2-1 to -one victory at home against Wigan. So we're kind of draw one, win one kind of thing, and that's been enough to keep us at about two points per match pace, which is kind of what looks like the top, top of the table here is going to sort out to be. You know, 23 matches, 46 points, 24 matches, 48 points. So trying to keep up with that pace. But so far, things have been pretty good for us. Now, there are some things going on, though. Our phones, if we go in, the transfer window starts in just a few days. And if I hover over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or more of our players have that wanted mark on them. And we're getting kind of rumors in the press that they're looking at this player or looking at that player and that there's deal going on. Every, um, a lot of our good players look at Now, the, the problem with this is I can't just say no to a lot of these because some of them do have release clauses. The biggest one I'm wondering about is Simon Walsh. Simon Walsh has been phenomenal for us this year. Almost every time he plays, his value goes up by 100,000 or 200,000. It's now escalated to 4 million. His rating this year is 7.58. And, and if we look here, let's go to championship. Let's go to player detailed. Average rating, there he is, 7.58, 7.58, the highest rating in the championship at this halfway mark after 23 ma matches. He's 0.17 against ahead of Malik Wilkes from Barnsley. So having a phenomenal year, if we hover over him in the squad rating here, it says there's something, like four teams, and it changes, and they keep adding one every while, four teams that want him. His buyout release clause is seven and a half million, a little over seven million, I think. So I don't know if we're going to be able to hang on to him. I don't know if their teams are going to come in there. Now, I've gone in and tried to see if I could re-sign a contract with him. And when I do, he wants a ton of money now. We're paying him 2000 per week, per pounds per week. His contract expires in a year and a half. He wants over 10000 which I'm actually not against paying him. But he also wants to have his minimum release uh, buyout clause lowered to about $4 million. And we get this whiff down here under negative. Preconstern is starting to consider whether he should be looking to move to a bigger club. 
So I think all the stars are kind of aligning that I'm really not convinced we're going to have Simon Walsh by the end of the transfer window. That will create some good stuff, though, because we could have some money to play with, which would be really kind of nice. And we do have a decent backup uh, defensive midfielder in Dean Campbell, who's played really well, too, at a 7.21 rating. So, you know, I mean, we'd obviously miss Simon Walsh. He's our best player. But I think we could survive without him. I don't know what where our playoff chances or our title chances would be without him. But so we have some drama coming up in the next step by the next episode where we'll kind of take a look at what's going on in the transfer window. Hopefully we can come through it unscathed and we won't lose a lot of our players here. But we'll see. And I don't really have a, a lot of money right now in the wage budget to add more players. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So there's that interesting side drama there. Other than that, there hasn't been too much in the way of goings or comings or incidents. Um, Aaron Rose kneecap has healed pretty well and he's starting to do, he's back to full training. We haven't had any other injuries. I have been yet unable to get into Samu Castileo's locker. I can't get the master key from the Coventry chairman. Somehow he says he lost it. So we don't have access to the player's locker to find out what's in there because we had that mysterious case where Samu Castileo came onto the team last month. And as soon as he came on, the player in front of him had a damaged kneecap. And I think Samu Castileo has been watching some Tonya Harding movies and taking some ideas into that head of his. But he's played really well, 7.01 rating. He's had seven appearances, two goals, two assists, and most of those coming off the bench. So he's done pretty well. So other than breaking the kneecaps of some of our other players, he's been a pretty good addition, I think. And with that being said, let's jump right in. I don't think there's anything else we really want to talk about here. Today's games have mostly been played. We're playing away. The Stadium of Light against Sunderland should be a big audience for this TV match. And we, oh yeah, we're predicted evens to win here. They have had poor form, not winning anything in their last five matches. We've been off and on kind of winning and drawing. Uh, but I did want to mention too, as we go into this as an aside here, you know, going back to August 28th, really, the first month of the season, our only loss has been a one to nothing loss against Portsmouth. Portsmouth. It's been a string of matches where we've either won or drawn a match and things like that. So... Yeah, you know, that's pretty. Uh, we, I never expected this. So, we're, you know, hopefully we can keep the music playing and keep the happy dance going and all this kind of stuff. Uh, anything to say about this? Malthus Summer, our striker, has started to score goals a little bit. He's looked a little bit better, so he's going to play up front. We have us. Um, Soliman Alush is going to play out outside on the wing with Perez. Uh, Darcy, our new midfielder, has played pretty well. On another, on a on a, a down note, Tom Holmes, our captain, our star defender has a damaged shoulder he got lifting weights. He's going to be out at this busy time of the season. We really can't afford to miss him. He's going to be out for three weeks. We do have another one of our good center backs, Marcio, who is hurt as well. So there's going to be some pressure on our center backs. I'm hoping they can hold up. And we kind of need Holmes' leadership here too. So I'm not convinced that we're going to be able to hold this form over the next three weeks or so. Yeah, we have to pick a, a captain for the day here. So Nya Kirby will be our captain. And let's get this show started. We are going a little bit cautious, although we've had some good luck lately with really ramping up the aggressiveness with our offense. So we're going to see how this starts out and then shift to be a little bit more aggressive if it doesn't work out that well. Let's ask our assistant. He's pretty much going to say to ram into everybody. Oh, he didn't really today. I like to let's press everybody on the outsides just because it's a modus operandi. Why change now? And let's go give them a team talk and get this started. Uh, team talk. Uh, let's be assertive. The recent forms and st form standings have Sunderland in 21st place and we're in 6th. Let's show them why. Our defense got all excited about that. Let's have faith in people. And we got everybody green. Good. The green team. Happy team. Let's kick it off here. This stadium is huge, isn't it? Let's play. I wish we had a stadium that could seat as many people as this and could get that many people. Our attendance, by the way, has still been hovering in our new stadium. I think about 10, 11,000. It's still the lowest in the championship. So, but anyway, I did see that we do have the capacity to expand this, the stadium too. Good, Darcy picks up the ball, which could be nice once we fill it up, but we still have some ways to go there. Kirby plays it out wide to Perez. Perez, we seem to be uh, moving the ball around here. Walsh fires it in. Oh, there is it. It's a nice start from Soliman Alouche with another pass. Do you see that pass from Simon Walsh? There goes like it's probably going to be his value goes up about another 200000 after this match. So Henri fires it over Walsh. Walsh spots Alouche, drops it on his foot. 
and he just laces it into the corner. Oh my gosh. As much as I like to see Simon Walsh do well here, it's cost. It, it, it may be, you know, every time we see that happen, we'll probably get a match. Like, oh, that was not Kirby. That was Alush. We'll probably get some comment that some coach from some team was here watching them after the game because it seems like he's just, whoa, this could be right back at us here. But Henri picks it up. Got a post kickoff highlight. Perez floats down the left side, feeds it into Summer. Summer, oh! Still, still leaves me feeling like he could be so much more. But he had a good second half of the season last year. It's ah, good. Perez picks it up again. Is that a right winger? Oh, gives it away. Shoots. Nice save by Cardinale. Kidoki. 2-1-2-1. Two, one, two, one. So our one shot on target's gone in. Take it so far. 12 minutes in. Possession is leaning to ours. I'm tempted to push up the... Yeah, I, I, they've got... Let's go to 20 minutes and then see what happens here. They've got five shots now. 50-50 present. Yeah, I, I think it's time. Let's... Let's... Crank... Let's leave our same formation. We'll go counter press. But let's move up a little bit here. Put the screws on a little bit. A little tighter marking and move up the pitch a little bit. This has worked pretty well for us of late. So let's see how it goes here. And we probably should scream something too from the sideline. What shall we shout? Let's shout get creative. There we go. Let's try that. Oh. Oof. Thought that was going in. Those angles I feel like are the most dangerous. Pressured by the feedback. Why? Why would you be pressured? Perez is just stealing it from everybody. Go, Summer, go. Ah, pressure, pressure. So in the last game against Wigan, we had, I think, I should have shown it because I think we had the worst goalkeeper error I've ever seen. He basically just stood there and gave the ball away and Wigan ran in and kicked it into the open net. It looked like something from the ninth tier of English football here. They are, that's going to be a goal. So our shift in tactics here, it started out so nicely. Let's change this a little bit more. We're gonna to go to the 4-3-3 now and let's adjust some of our running. So this might take a moment here, sorry about this. A loose winger attack, yeah, we'll do that. Support, okay, that's all. Nope, we wanna have him central midfielder attack. Gotta shift things a little bit here. Defender, yeah, yeah, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, I think that's good. Let's. And let's go attacking to really turn this up here. Okay, 30 minutes in, one-to-one, -one, game on. <clears throat> yep, we know. Come on, boys. Let's get it back. We need a win here. Quirk to Kirby. Kirby to Walsh. Back and forth they go. Walsh sends it over the top. Summer isn't even close. Where is he kicking it? He has the consistency mark, and I think, unfortunately, it's, like, inconsistent for this season, which has been a little bit... Okay. Henri, pick it up. Cardinale, Cardinale, boots it out. Nice. Summer picks it up, comes back and gets it. Kirby, back to Summer. Summer breaks around the defender, fires it to no effect. Goalkeeper does a little somersault there, though. That was pretty cool. Okay. Let's get a corner here. Kirby, off. Oh, Holmes is an in. Ah, don't... Okay, Alush picks it up. Alush, by the way, he's only played a little bit, but I think he has eight goals now, and I think he is leading the league in goals per minute play. Summer, oh, God, man. Oh, it's so aggravating to watch him have such great chances. He's at a 6.4. I'm pulling him out at halftime because he doesn't get better. Maybe I can shout something at him. Let's, let's listen to this highlight. What do you shout at an individual player if they're totally... Oh, here we go again. There's no way he scores. Oh, he hit the post. Oh, my God. He's had so many chances. Kirby fires it in. Quirk, a little wide. I'm liking what I'm seeing. We just need that final finishing. And we've done the goal, the goal conversion training, too, to help get those shots in. Dressing room. Encourage the players. Give them a little bit of a morale boost. Time for everyone to give 
everything you've got tonight. We deserve this win this match, so let's go. That didn't work. You weren't that bad, but I believe in you. Yep, let's try that. And Summer, sorry, you're at a 6.2. You've been horrible. Morgan Jeffs, come on in. Morgan Jeffs was really good last year. He has not played that much this year. But Summer, if Summer has a bad game, it's just he never sorts it out. Or he hasn't sorted it out so far. Growth mindset, right? Perez in front gets us a corner. Good, we'll take that for a start. Hopefully Morgan Jeffs can be a little better here. If we could get Jeffs the same chances that we gave Summers, I think we're going to be pretty good. Jeffs, Alush! Oh my goodness, he's on fire! Oh! The man just scores. Didn't he score? Did he score four in our last match too? So he scored six goals in the last two YouTube, ma YouTube, YouTube matches? The man likes YouTube. Whew. Let's praise him. And who did? who is the assist? Was it Kirby? I forget. Let's just praise Alush then. Okay, so we've tilted a little bit better. We're fired up, we're motivated, we're confident, all this kind of stuff. Now we see if let's hang on to this and add to this lead here. Pulls it in. Oh, that's a dangerous pace. He's going to go right in. Nice. Not much of a shot there, huh? That was a, a U12 roller. Come on, boys, let's add to this. Simon Walsh is a little bit tired. He does have the fitness of a, an 80-year-old grandmother. So... Alush into Jeffs. Jeffs dances around, goes around his man, fires. I think we need like ankle braces or something. CK has a corner, has a red card, yellow card, sorry. Let's fix that. Ease off tackles. Okay. Confirm changes. Play. So as a kind of a, an aside here, I saw a tweet out there, and, and it was someone was mentioning. How many different saves do you play? Oh, Jeff's over the top. Oh, what? What? Oh, offsides. How many different saves do you play with football manager? Oh, that right side. Oof. Didn't even move. Cardinale, that was confident. Um, how many different saves do you play with the version of FM? And so I was thinking, with FM20, this has been the only save I've done. So I'm just curious, how many saves do other people do that are watching this? This has turned quite even here. I'm not, Perez on the left side has not been good. 20 minutes to go. Let's see if we can bring in Ferry. And he'll probably score two, which will mean his value will go up. And we'll lose him at the transfer window too here. 75 minutes. Oh, let's get one right here. CK to Jeffs. Jeffs goes around his player, feeds it in. Ferry! Oh my goodness. We need to practice our shooting. Let's slow this down a little bit and just time waste a touch and any other subs we want to make at this point yeah kirby 6.6 .6 is playing okay walsh is tired but he's fine 7.7 .7 figures he's there goes another 200,000 to his value we could bring in campbell for kirby we might do that in a minute let's see we get how we get to 80 minutes come on, boys let's hang on Oh, you ever have that bad feeling? Yeah. Okay, that was my bad feeling. Uh, let's change our tactics here. We don't want to waste time. Let's... Yeah, this is, everything is fine. Confirm changes. Skip that. Let's get to 12 minutes left. Okay, who do we want to sub out? Let's bring in Campbell for Kirby because Kirby hasn't done anything. Okay. Uh, I should have brought in Robbie Arnon, but oh well. Come on, boys. Let's do this. We can still win. I've had a lot of late goals, which has been some exciting, if not um, kind of nervous finishes here. Ferry drills in. It's a shot blocked. We still get it up. Quirk. Okay. Feeds it back to Cardinale. After the last march, I'm a little bit nervous with our keeper in the ball there. Wow, what a pass to Alush. Alush, get that hat trick. That works too. Oh. Who's offside anyway? Huh? Come on, boys. No. No. Oh, good. I thought that was in. Oh, Suleiman got a, Alush got a yellow card, huh? Ferry breaks by his man. 
Passes in front. Ah, that was a terrible pass. Let's clean up Alusha's yellow card here. Edit. Ease off tackles. Okay. Can Darcy move up into an attacking midfield position? He can. Let's put him up there. Ten minutes to go. Let's go for it. I th what seems to be working better this year is we can score more goals than you. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Is that it's okay if we give up two as long as we get three. All right. Our ball. CK. Fontaine. Not with a lot of confidence. Walsh. CK. This is the feel. Oh, there we go. We get it out. Walsh over. Jeffs in alone. Oh, God, in the line. Ah. Come on, boys. Do we dare go very attacking? Mm. Let me see. What other tweaks would could we make here? Attacking. I don't want to go very attacking because anything here. Let's get stuck in. Let's try that. We can shake it up when they have the ball. Come on, boys. Let's get one. Let's make an exciting finish here. We can do this. We can do this. We can't. Oh, we can. Here we go. Highlight. If you get that feeling. Campbell. Oh, God. It's the wrong feeling. No. No, Francis. No. Why? Oh, that's terrible defense. Oh. Okay. One more chance. I know we're going to get one more chance. We're going to score. Uh-oh. Yes. Get the ball. Not them. Nice tackle. Oh, goodness. Blocked. Corner. Ugh. I think the best we can get is a draw here. Okay, we got one minute. Let's get it, and let's counter, and let's win. Yes. Go, go, go. Darcy, go. Go, Darcy, go. Go, Darcy, go. Go, Darcy. Oh, Darcy. No. Let's get the ball, boys. Get the ball. Somebody. I be a hero. Not on the other team. So showing us the whole rest here. Ah, that's it, huh? This is the old just like putts around at the end and nothing really happens. So he's going to kick it and it'll blow the whistle. God. That should do it. Ah. So close. Wow, even on shots too. We just didn't quite have it. I think we might miss Holmes, our center, our captain. Here. Tell the boys they did well and their efforts were excellent. Um, you're unlucky tonight. Yeah. Okay. Let's praise Walsh, though. Why not? And Alush with the brace there. Guy wasted it. Uh, I'm happy with your performance tonight. That sounds good. End team talk and continue. Still, a draw on the road against a mid table team. Uh, you know, we can't complain and still haven't lost for a long time. So, as we end up that match and we end December in the calendar year of 2027, we sit one point back of Cardiff. And that's still the promotion spot, but the automatic promotion spot. But Derby County is right on our heels. Barnsley, who was in first place and we last played them, they fell off the table since we've played them. So let's see what we've got coming ahead and when we'll be back next time. Transfer window opens up at the end of the month, well, January 1st. We do have one player going out, just an insignificant player, but I don't think we're going to be very active. I'm just hoping we can hold on to our players. Or if we sell our players, that we sell them early enough that I might be able to replace them with the money that we get in. Let's probably come back for Middlesbrough um, on the 22nd of January. So we'll play five matches, then we'll come back. So anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up and do the subscription stuff if you're new and all those kinds of things. Any comments, ideas, feedback on how we might want to approach this transfer window, please feel free to drop them down in the comments. And um, please, everybody stay safe and have a great day. We'll see you in our next episode.